What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel, Agent Diesel, shaken not stirred, and we're back in the Black Watchmen, where it is an alternate reality game where we are given missions and we must complete them. Yes, so uh, week 8 has commenced and mission 15 is upon us. Uh, mission 15 transmission. An occult group known as the Witches of Babalan have knowledge of a classified rift event. Help Agent Azuro with the investigation. So let's go ahead and we'll hop on in. Finally, I think it came out like Friday, Thursday or Friday is when uh, these missions dropped. And uh, they're a little difficult. This one was a little like the, the difficulty level is a little ramped up. There's a, a something that's very confusing towards the end. I'll show you in a little bit. In a little bit. Ready, set. Let's go. A major problem for the beekeeper is in protecting their beehives from various external threats. One particular problem comes from wasp attacks. Prevention is key in this situation, and there are multiple steps the bee... Agent reports received from our intelligence analysts indicate that a group known as the Witches of Babelan have knowledge of classified rift events. We've begun a formal investigation, and we need your help to uncover more information. Beekeeper can take to minimize risk of attack. Boom, 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 boom. The Witches of Babelan sounds like a like a European metal group, and I'd be to I was totally I, I would listen. Like, at least to the first song. So, we received a coded message from Agent Azuro. Help analyze the document for hidden information. And they give us an archive number, AGH554. So you go to... Ooh, hey, there's an answer there. Uh, Archive.blackwatchman.com. You type that bad boy in, and it gives you a picture of Venezuela. And, because we've uh, been dealing with Venezuela in the past and previous, past and previous, they're both the same word, means the same thing, in the previous missions. Uh, so, this is the state of Venezuela, and we have this in red, and high-risk area for transmission. So, we know, uh, well, well, we don't know yet. We've got to find out what this is. And it turns out that this particular part of the map is Guyana. Indeed. Go to Guyana. It is this area marked off in this little orange area here. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So then, in the past and previous missions, we've taken pictures into Notepad to decode them. So if you go into your Notepad and open it up, it gives us this whole mumble jumble jargon, and at the very end, it gives us a crypto bin link. Now the link is too long. Crypto bin links are usually eight characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all you need. Because I was like, that thing is too long. And believe me, I try. I put. I, I try putting that in. I try. So you copy this John right here, and then open it up in your browser, and go to here, and it pops in this bunch of mess. Now, for crypto bin, you need to find uh, a code. A password to unlock the crypt. Now, if you uh, look at the picture one more time with me, you'll see red area, high risk area for transmission. So if you type in to your Googles, high risk transmission, Guyana, Venezuela, it gives you diseases and things like that. Health information for travelers of Venezuela. This doesn't give you a whole lot other than a couple, you know, diseases. It'll give you a couple diseases. I mean, I mean, it's not going to give you the disease. I mean, it's going to give you the names of diseases. That's what I'm talking about. But even like right here, Traveler's Malaria. 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 Malaria is a very deadly, deadly disease. And I think it has killed more people in the world than people living in the world. I'm not really sure. Boom! Haha. -ha. So it gives us this code. After receiving reports about an occult group known as the Witches of Babalan, having knowledge of highly secret rift event, we have decided to commence a formal investigation. Preliminary searches in towns likely associated with the group have yielded some promising documents. This text is from the church bulletin board in Colonial Tovar. You can find it attached to this document. And then it goes into some, what looks like German. It does look like German. So you cut, copy, paste to that. And then you can make sure you have your notepad open and such and such. And this is basically it. After receiving all the shenanigans. So I've taken this and then I threw it into a Google Translate. 
And this is what it gives me. The king had a daughter who was very beautiful, but she was also very strange. She had made a vow to take no one lord and husband would promise you if she died first, gich, alive her bed, to be buried. He met me dearly, they tell it. What is it, Din, still alive? Dug again. She wanted to do the same. And if he had died, thirst. Rise with him to the grave. Dianis Mertham vows Hata quenched until how now all the suitors, but the youth became so charmed with her beauty that he cared for nothing. So then continued with her father to tie, do you know, said the king, what you must promise. I have to go with her in his grave, he replied, if I outlive her, but my love is so great that I do not the danger and the king consented and the wedding was solemnized with great splendor yes splendor now you see that some of these words are still not all that translated and it's because they're either spelled incorrectly or they're to be looked at a little harshly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what I did was I took the first line the king had a daughter it was beautiful, but she was also very strange. You copy that John in there. And it pops the king had a daughter who was very beautiful, but she was also very strange. And it brings up the three snake leaves, which is a Grimm's fairy tale. And then right down here is Whoa, 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 what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Three snake leaves. Okay. This has like all the Grimm's fairy tales on it. Uh, can I just go up a little bit? Nope, I've ruined it. I've ruined it all. Anyway, it's in the three snake leaves. What happened? What happened? Uh, I messed it all up. Hold on. There it is. Hansel and Grethel? No, 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 no. Three spinners. I've royally messed this up. <laughs> ah, the three little men. A lot of threes. Now that I'm looking at the, at the, at the Grimm's fairy tales. Um, but here's the deal. When I go and I try to find the Grimm's fairy tales, yeah, we can go ahead and we'll do it in the English. Grimm's fairy tales, and you type in the three snake leaves into Google, and it brings up a couple links. This is what it also brings up, and you can translate it into German. You can translate it to a bunch of different languages if you want. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll translate this into into Deutschland. Deutschland, yeah. Good, said it good. Ha ha ha. So, we can go back into our notepad and let's go up to the German translation. So it starts with Der König hatte eine Tochter. I'm, ter I'm, ter Tochter. I'm terrible with my the language of my peoples. Die uh, wurde schon über sie war auch sehr wunderlich. I got wunderlich. Ha ha. So you can copy that into here and then hop over here. And then we can type Control F. Aha! See, I've already put it in there. And boom! So it starts there, and it ends with Verklossen. Gesundheit. That's German too. Hey! <laughs> so take this, copy it, and then we also have a website that says Text Compare. So you put the original John, and then the one that you got from this site here, because they're two different text or they had different spellings like see uh, uh -huh. where is the first letter she had made a vow to make one lord husband would promise you if she died first geek alive her bed geek alive her bed um, but if you type this John into the left hand this cut copy paste this into here to the left side and then this part into the right side compare and it gives us all these, I don't know if you can see this in your uh, browser, but it highlights letters on the left-hand side. You can try the right-hand side. Right-hand side, just it's a whole bunch of nothing. But on the left-hand side, what it brings up is... Let's slide down. Iglesiasandmartin.com Dot com. So you type that John in. This is actually the first later part of that Iglesias and Martin oh that's a nifty little site La Iglesia de San Martin a reminder of Colonia Tavar's German history yeah German history is very good so 
Iglesias and Martin is your answer. Make sure that you capitalize. Capitalize? Capitalize. The uh, website, I tried putting it in like a so. If you just put this join in, www.iglesias.com. And w even with the HTTP, it's no good. It's no good. See? No dice. It no likey. So, take this. Put that in. Oh, it does take it without the, I thought you had to be capitalized. I'm getting it confused with the la uh, the later part in the next part of this mission. Ready, set, and go to here. Code of arms. We received a new message from Agent Azero decoded, uh, decode the contents, and we'll send back a reply. Start now. Okay. And we have a new archive number. It's J, is that O-R? Is that J-O-R-443? And that will bring us up this bad boy right here the venezuelan coat of arms and as you can see uh let's minimize this it has a number b64 now this will come into play but same thing as before you take this into your notepad decode it and at the bottom it'll say all caps l24 z n t n n n w i s 268486 don't worry about this number scrap it just get rid of it just take this bad boy right here, and then you could copy paste that bad boy into a Word document or whatever you're using to. Uh, let's just get rid of that. It's no good. It's no good. It's not. It's not good at all. Now, here's something we haven't used in quite some time. This is not a. Well, this is going to be a crypto bin link eventually. But crypto bin links, like we've learned before, only have eight characters to them, and this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, woo, woo. So we'll take this and we'll go to a website that I don't think I've been to in quite some time in a Black Watchman. Oh, look, ascii2hex.com. Now, you can type it into all these different areas here and you're not going to get a whole lot of nothing. But if you pop it into base 24 with the lowercase and everything, it gives you this up here. What? It gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, shizzle. Cut, copy, paste that bad boy into a new crypto bin link. And I'll give you this. All right, but now you need a password. Now, this is where it gets a little funky because this is where it gets confusing. Because if you look at the coat of arms of Venezuela, which is the picture that we got here. Now, on this side, in the actual coat of arms, we're getting uh, Republica de Venezuela, Z-U-A-L-A, -A. Republica de Venezuela. So you're like, okay, well that seems to be missing, and it's not B64, because if you type in B64, which is uh, this picture, see B64, you think, oh, okay, maybe that could be it. So you type in B64, no dice. But if you type in Republica de Venezuela, which is what it's missing, no dice. It doesn't like that either. But if you type in, instead of Republica de Venezuela, you just type in Venezuela, the way it's supposed to be spelled, the way it's you know correctly spelled, but in, not in the flag. Where is that? Coat of arms. And the coat of arms is Venezuela. But if you there is there are a couple flags that do have Venezuela, but in the Wikipedia it's Venezuela, so it's very confusing. So if you just type in Republica de Venezuela, Republica de Venezuela, boom, and spaces too. Republica space de space Venezuela, and then it brings this up. So then it brings up this little area of uh, things we need to look at here. And this is what it says. I did some digging into the website and I managed to find contact information at iglesiasandmartin.com slash contact.html, but I cannot seem to get any response. If you get through, try and find a name of the leader of the Witches of Babalin. I'll look for the person up in town and pay them a visit. Clearly the group was already warned. It's members of the coming storm. We need to convince them not to warn the general public about the Angostura Rift event and prevent panic. 
you find the name of the leader and I will handle the negotiations. So if you go to this particular site, the contact, so you go to Iglesias and then you just type in contact.html, which I've already had in here, contact.html. Yeah, let's just do it for you here. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's do it. All right, com slash contact.html. It brings you to this site. So contact us to speak with the high priest. Honor first the memory of the last to suffer. And you're like, huh? What happened? So if you go to the main site, hello, yes, hello. Go to the main site, it says, our ancestors began our group in Würzburg during the 16th century. They were lived peacefully hiding amongst the people. However, when the trials started, they knew they were no longer safe. Our people were being slaughtered. With the death toll reaching the hundreds, they fled to the Black Forest near Baden, where they sought refuge from the bloodshed. You can go into Colonial Tovar, but Würzburg trials. So there must have been some kind of Würzburg witch trials. And in the... Kind of backtracking here. In the contact, it says, To speak with the high priest, honor first the memory of the last to suffer. So they're referring to probably the last person who died in the Würzburg witch trials, from what I understand. Now you can go down here, and you can read through the Würzburg witch trial, and it's an actual thing. It's crazy. Mm. And then you come up to here, already in 1616, 1617, there had been a first wave of witch trials in the city. And it isolated witch trial in 1625, which gave way to the Great Hysteria in 1625. The Great Witch Hysteria of Würzburg started in 1626 and stopped in 1631. Though the documents of the executed are from the period 1627 to 29, in uh, July 16, 1631, Philip Adolf died. And when the city was taken by King Gustavus Adolphus of Sweden the same year, the witch trial was put to an end. Philip Adolf is not the last person who died in the trials. I believe Philip Adolf is, uh, I think he was the ruler of the time? Philip Adolf? I forget, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. But it's not the right, it's not the right John. So I'm like, well, what, what, what's going on? So uh, you email that uh, contact information and you're like, oh, Philip Adolf, I'm honoring him. But it's no dice, it's no good, because he's not the last person who suffered. So, they give us this picture here, too, which is, it looks like another coat of arms. So, if you go ahead and do a search Google for image, it'll bring up Endogen. Endogen. And then uh, a bunch of different German sites, German Wikipedia sites. So, I was like, uh, well, I'm English. I'm not English, I'm not British, you know, but I, I speak English. So I went to the Googles and I typed in just uh, Endogen and Trials, and then Endogen comes up here in a regular English Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Endogen was first found in sources uh, in the year 862. It belonged in the Lords of Endogen, which is, by the way, it's a small town in Germany. Is it? Is this Germany? Yeah, it's Germany. Yeah, yeah it sure is. Uh, 862, it belonged to the Lords of Endogen for several centuries and then to the Lords of Rosenberg. Yeah, in 1285 for 1286, Endogen received city city rights. Excuse me. When the Lords of Rosenberg died out in 1379, the town passed to Habsburgs and was eventually incorporated into Vorder... Oh, God. Vorderosterich. Vorderosterich. Vorderosterich, yes. For the short time in the 15th century, Endogen held the status of the imperial city, the Reichstadt, of the Holy Roman Empire. In 1751, Endogen was the site of one of the last witch trials in Europe. On April 24th, Anna Schneiderwind, Anna Schneiderwind was burned as a witch after the Peace of the Press in 1805. Endogen was assigned with the rest of the Brzezgau, Brze, 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 can't read, to Baden. So, Anna Scheidenwind. So, if you go into your uh, your Gmails or whatever your, your emails is, and you just type this in honor, honor first the memory of Anna Scheidenwind. May I please speak to the high priest? Thank you on uh, Diesel, and then you just make sure that you email it to contact uh, contact Iglesian and Martin at gmail dot com dot com. And even in the subject line, honoring Anna, 
uh, what's her name? Schneiderman. So in the title, honoring Schneiderman, and then honor first the memory of Anna Schneiderman. May I please speak to the high priest? Thank you, Diesel. And then you get a response, almost instantly. Those priests, man, they're they're on their Googles, man. They're on their Gmails. They're checking their they're checking their wikis, their iPhones. Bright blessings. Our group shall gather soon at the church. I welcome you to join us and discuss your concerns in person, so we may find the best uh, may find the best find a path forward. So we may find the best find a path forward. Whatever. But Martin Schweglin. He's got swag, so he's swaggling. I see. They see me swaggling, swaggling, swaggling. Um, go ahead and cut copy. Martin Schweglin, because that's the guy we got to talk to. He's the main concern of this mission. Oh. We have made contact with the head of the group. Negotiations are taking place. They seem cooperative and have been assured by us that safety measures are already in position for the rift event. If we see any signs of an information leak, we'll be assigning nearby assets to silence the leadership. All right. Good God. Mission 15 is in the books. This took me around two hours to try and figure out. And this is just like two hours of sporadic of me like starting it, getting confused, and then being like, okay, I'm going to try it again. Here's one thing when it comes to the Black Watchmen, really the only tip I can give. Make sure you read through everything and anything that's on the screen could be something to uh, to help you out. I mean, even in like this, contact us, everything. Like, what's this picture? Anything that has a picture, see like, what's this? This has to mean something. If I didn't get this and search this little image, that whole name doesn't pop up for you. So, I would suggest just, uh, you know... Do your due diligence, or if you don't feel like doing the research, just keep on watching these videos and hitting that like button if you enjoyed this video. It helps my channel out ever so much more than you know. And if you like this video a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like, shout, y'all, and I will check you out right here again in the Black Watchman next time.